didn't know Max was here. <laughs> What's wrong, Max? Give Max some sugars. No, he's crying around his friends. Where is his friends? And this is Dad and his mom and, and baby. Where's his friends? What are you doing? I don't know. He was just crying to get in. He was trying Where's your friends, Max? Where's the guy and uh, Remy? Oh, there's your friends, Max. Welcome back friends. I just had to start off with that clip just to kind of show you the craziness that I'm going to have to deal with today. Um, Max is one of my grand dogs and he loves to go inside the house when he comes over here and we were all outside today and he was not happy with that. He wanted inside so I just had to show you all that quick clip to kind of get us going. We're going to jump right into this front porch refresh video. Now this is not what I have planned for you guys. If you've been around for my, if you've been around here for quite some time you know that I usually do a huge Huge spring front porch makeover and that was what I had planned for today but as you could see my wet footsteps here going on and off the porch and this crazy Texas weather put a little dent in what I had planned today and um, this was an early Saturday morning and I had planned to go over to my friend Charlotte's trade days stock up on all of the plants that she has in and um, she has all her plants in for springtime and I am so ready to get them on my front and back porch However, it got down to like 30 degrees last night. It was going to get down to 30 degrees this night. So Charlotte pretty much had to put all of her plants inside, cover them up. So this was just not going to be a good day to go up there and buy plants and to film. I also wanted to film her trade day. She has an extra floor on top now. And I really wanted to grab a couple of new things for the front porch. Well, a couple of old things for the front porch from her shop. But that didn't get done today. Uh, but I will have that coming up in a few weeks when it gets a little bit more sunny here in Texas and I can totally redo the front porch. So this is just going to be a little refresh for today. I had to get a hold of this front porch. And if you saw in the before scenes, I still had a Christmas rug that had been half eaten by the neighbor's dog, Remy. But I still had a Christmas rug out and I had an, all my plants had died. And I just needed to get everything off right here by the store area and make it a little bit more inviting. And um, we'll have Easter here and I wanted to put out some of my Easter bunnies so I was really needing to get out here and work on this front porch so even though today it was terribly wet and really cold I had to get it done so here we go I've got everything off so let's start cleaning a little bit on the front porch and putting some sweet Easter decor out I won't do a lot of cleaning today just because it is so wet I would normally you know get the water hose out wipe off the windows or wash the windows all that good stuff today I'm just gonna take care of this front door it is so so dirty the dogs really keep it dirty going in and out so I'll take some hot water with some Dawn dishwashing liquid and clean down the front door and then we're gonna run out to the shed let me show you what Derek's been doing out in the shed while I'm working on the front porch if you happen to be new today I'm Robin and welcome to my channel And here's another project that we've been putting off that we got done today. Of course, we picked the coldest day to get it done, but we got it done. But this was all the stuff that we had pushed over against that wall right there when you first walk in that desperately needed a shelf there so that we could get it organized. So today was the day Derek went to Sam's and bought a new shelf, which was so, so hard to put together. I think it took three of us to get this darn shelf put together, but we got her done. And uh, here's all the before stuff that's going to go on this shelf. And then in a little bit, we'll 
come back and I'll show you um, what all Derek got done while I was working on the porch. Okay, now let's head back over to the front porch and start putting some Easter decor out. Okay, and again, I'm using nothing new today. Everything I'm going to put right here by the front door are items that I already had. So I've pulled some things out from the shed that I stored from last year. And I had a couple of plants that survived the um, winter. And then, of course, I picked up last week a fern from Charlotte when she first got them in. So we will hang a fern today, even though it's 30 degrees out here. But to me, a fern definitely completes a front porch, especially here in Texas. Okay, so this is pretty much what I'm going to do right here to the left of the front door. And then we'll move over and start working to the right of the door and working on my little bench area. Editing this back, I hate seeing all those wet footprints on the concrete, but it is what it is. I have to deal with it, but it's not the prettiest video today, guys. But I did get my porch refreshed just a little bit, which as you can see really needed to be done. So I am happy with the little bit that I got done today. Okay, so as you can see, I'm just going to add some simple Easter decor on the porch today. We're going to get a couple of more days of bad rain and really cold weather. So just enough to say I did when it comes to this video. And then in a few weeks, um, I'll add some great spring touches. I need a couple of more weekends of really nice um, sunny weather. And then we'll do some spring decorating here on the front porch. We'll go to Charlotte's, do some filming, and then come back and really spruce up this front porch. I'm also going to be doing my back deck. If you've been around a while, you know that my back deck is like an extension of my home. Home, and I love um, working on that area too. So right now it has about 10 inches of pollen that needs to be sprayed off with the water hose and all that good stuff. So wait till you see the back deck in a few weeks. It is ridiculous right now. So here's just a quick shot of this pretty little welcome mat that Derek got for me at Sam's. I'm just going to leave this out here today and then I'm going to show you this cute little spring mat that I got to go on top of this mat. Again, once it gets really sunny out here in no more cold and wet weather, how I can easily spruce up this little front porch um, rug here with a cute little spring rug to go on top of it. I got this from Amazon. Isn't it just adorable? I actually got this guy on clearance uh, last year during, I think maybe right when winter hit. This was a clearance item that I picked up for maybe five or six dollars. I think it's just adorable, so I cannot wait to use it. So, okay. And of course, if you're a southerner, you know you cannot do a front porch without adding a Boston fern or some type of fern to your front porch. And I did pick this up from Charlotte last week. I have another one that I'm going to hang on the back deck eventually. But uh, I am definitely struggling with this fern, as you can see. So, Courtney just showed up. We're about to head to a baseball game for Ryder. 
So as I'm editing this back, I'm thinking, hmm, how many women does it take to hang a fern? Obviously two, because I am so, so short. So she's going to help me get this hung real quickly. And then we'll move into the shed. And let me show some after shots of Derek's hard work. Wow, isn't it just crazy how much of a difference a couple hours of decluttering and organizing can do? So, so proud of that shed. There's a lots more areas that we'll be organizing and I'll bring you along when we do those also. Okay, now back to the front porch. And of course, if you know me, um, no front porch is complete without a fern and some type of pillow or two. And I'm just gonna use this cute little front porch sitting pillow that I got from, I believe I got this from Lowe's a few years back. I absolutely love it. Now, I can't leave it out during the day because Remy, our neighbor's dog, loves to come and tear up all my pillows. So the pillow stays um, on the front porch just when I'm home and then at night told me I have to bring it back inside. But just another clip of Ziggy. He was really enjoying today protecting the house. Um, but guys, this is all I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed just this quick little front porch refresh. I hope I encouraged you somehow to maybe get out on your front porch or your patio or something um, and do a little refresh and add some cute little Easter bunnies to your front door. Maybe just a wreath if you don't have much to decorate. So thanks guys for spending some of your precious time with me. If you happen to be new, I would love it if you would introduce yourself to me in the comment section. And guys, I guess I'll see you next week. I've got a home tour coming up, so be looking for that. If you haven't subscribed yet, I would love it if you would take the time to hit that red subscribe button before you leave today. If you happen to have an Instagram account, I would love for us to follow each other over on that platform. You can find me at Robin Lane Low, the same name as my YouTube channel. I totally understand, though, if you do not have an Instagram account, if you can believe it, I did not have an Instagram account when I first started my YouTube channel. Thanks again, friends, for watching, and I'll see you next week. Bye.